We welcome all of you for the online art festival organized by New Jersey Natya Sangamam. New Jersey Natya Sangamam was started in 2015 by four dance teachers, Chitra Ramaswamy, Lavanya Mahadevan, Aparna Ram and myself Anuradha Ranganathan. Though we all had our own dance schools, we wanted to get together, collaborate and perform together. That's the idea behind starting the organization where like-minded dance teachers can come together, collaborate participate, practice, and then perform everywhere. As part of which we have done a lot of productions and performed it in and around New Jersey. As teachers, when we started to come together, collaborate, and exchange ideas, we understood how important it is for our students to have the same experience what we got back in India. Hence, we started NGNS Student Wing with a name for the students to get an exposure from the senior artists who visit in New Jersey. NGNS also has a performing artist group which provides a platform for the teachers of New Jersey by exchanging ideas, by collaborating with the senior artists from India. We have produced Shakti with Guru Shri Narendra Kumar Lakshmipati and Ritu with 25 dance teachers from Tri-State area in collaboration with Guru Srimati S. Divyasena. NJNS vision is to promote the art by creating a learning platform for both teachers and students. We envision to be a collective voice for Bharatanatyam in US and beyond. As we are growing and extending our boundaries, several teachers and dancers from other continents have been reaching out to us to collaborate with us to address the needs of dancers, to bring up the students' level and making this learning very futuristic. We at NGNS aspire to be a one-stop association to satisfy the cultural quest of avid dance lovers. As with any art, the first step to development and improvement is by understanding the strength and weaknesses of oneself. With this in mind, we started the Natyanjali dance competitions which precisely aimed at this. And yes, by virtue of it being a competition, there is a winner. But the competitions did just more than choosing one winner. The participants who competed started to compete with themselves for each one of them is given a detailed feedback of their strengths that they needed to highlight on and of their flaws that they needed to fix to move to the next level. In that sense, many participants became our regulars at the competitions for it not only helped the students understand their improvement from the earlier years on, but it also reinforced what their teachers have trained them on and it coming from the third person gave it the much needed spark and thought for the student. Natyanjali has been very popular and it has grown to great lengths in the last five years where the festival has moved from being a half a day affair to a three day affair wherein each student, the teacher and the esteemed artists who join us as judges for fun-filled days of dance, dance and dance. Having said that, an artist is one who grooms oneself every day and earns for knowledge. With this knowledge and sharing in mind, we wanted to create a festival that features artists in North America who have broken boundaries to set the path that they are treading. It's important for us to hear these voices, for it's not easy to bring in art unknown to these lands and yet have the same pace and dedication with those who live and breathe this art form back home. With the many challenges they have in this country, 
we all strive and work hard with just sheer love for this art. Let's give a huge shout out for our first panel of artists who are being featured in Bridges Art and Beyond. The list of people to be featured is exhaustive and this is our first humble attempt to feature some of the great artists, each one path breaking in one way or the other, bridging continents, collapsing boundaries and carving a niche of their own. Art should always be inclusive for you never know when an artist turns into the art itself. And hence, here we are with Bridges Season 1, Art and Beyond. Please join us every Saturday from May 30th to June 30th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With this, I hand over the spotlight to the MC of today's evening. Thank you so much from all of us at NJNS for joining us and supporting us. Shri
ಪುರಂಡರಾದಿ ಸನ್ನುತ ಗಂಭೀರ ನಾಟ್ಯ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಕ ನಾಗಲಿಂಗ ಮರಗತ ಮಣಿ ಶೋಭಿತ ಲಿಂಗ ತಾರಕ ತೇಜೋ ರೂಪ ವಾಯುಲಿಂಗ ಪುರಂಡರಾದಿ ಸನ್ನುತ ಗಂಭೀರ ನಾಟ್ಯ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಕ ನಾಗಲಿಂಗ ಮರಗತ ಮಣಿ ಶೋಭಿತ ಲಿಂಗ ತಾರಕ ತೇಜೋ ರೂಪ ವಾಯುಲಿಂಗ ಪಪ್ಪನಿ ಮಮ್ಮ ಗಮ ಗಪ ಮಣಿ ಪಮ ಪ ಮಗ ಸಮ ಗಪ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಮ ನಿ ಪ ನಿ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ಗ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಸ ಸ ಗ ಸ ಸ ಮ ಸ ಸ ಪ ಮ ನಿ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ಗ ಗ ನಿ ನಿ ಸ ಪ ಪ ನಿ ಮ ಮ ಪ ಸ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಸ ಸ ಮ ಗ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ನಿ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ಗ ಮ ಮ ಗ ಸ ನಿ ಪ ಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಾಲಂತರ ಮ ಶ್ರಯ ಜಲಜಾಕ್ಷಿ honor to have with us this week shri t s nandakumar shri t s nandakumar comes from the family of the very well known nadaswaram exponents the ambalapura brothers a child prodigy nandakumar conquered the world of music with his beats on the mridangam he learned mridangam under the guidance of shri kaidavana madhav das in the gurukula sampradha tradition and acquired the proficiency as a laya vidwan he gained reputation as an accompanist some to some well known names in the carnatic music such as semman gudi srinivas ayer md ramanathan s ramanathan r k shrikantan v dakshina murthy sir bing sen joshi mr m murli balamurli krishnan t n krishnan subramanian n ramani dr k j jesudas rajam T K Govinda Rao T V Govardhan Krishnan and several others he has taken up his life mission to perpetuate indian ancient art form and has dedicated himself in teaching the same to hundreds of students worldwide he was quoted as the guru of all musical things king of percussion in the suburbs and the master of rhythm by the times of india he has been on the faculty with all the leading fine art sabhas in mumbai the shanmugananda the music triangle the nadhalaya and the fine art society shri nandakumar has trained students in mridangam tavil ganjira morsing and in konnakol most of the senior students are graded artists with the all india radio and participate in regular concerts it is rare to find someone who is not only knowledgeable but also executes excellence in playing seven streams of percussion he was awarded the title of guru shikhamani shruti laya sudhakara and swara sadhana ratna by institutions he has been associated with fairly recently he was the recipient of the lifetime achievement award in chennai for his contributions to the field of classical music Shri Nanda Kumar has many albums to his credit Jewels of Rhythm with his young students from the age group 8 to 13 these albums have turned prize possessions for all aspirants young and old learning the art of percussion today at bridges art and beyond we present to you vidwan shri t s nanda kumar
నమస్కారం నమస్కార నమస్కారండి నమస్తే గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఒరు ప్రమేయో నమ ప్రాంస్టు మై గురు శ్రీ కైదవన మాధవదాస ప్రణాం ఐఎమ్ రియలీ థ్యాంక్ఫుల్ టు న్యూ జెర్సీ నాట్య సంగమం టు దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ to talk about thalams little bit na program and uh, today i am going to talk about three things one is purves another one is ayutis that is thirumanam and the third one is nade first first of all the thalam thala is everywhere just like you know the universe look at the universe it is the cycle of the exact uh equidistance time measure and look at your uh, heart beats same thing train everywhere there without rhythm nothing will happen that's the thing so uh, thala basically thala is the measure of time musical composition instrumental accompaniments and dance are regulated by that each accompaniment in a concert must follow the thala of the principal musician so you know there are five jadis like tisar jadi chandrashyadi khandayadi misriyadi and sangirna jadi how to make kurvas this is the main thing you should know this all five jadis what will be the count tisam is 3 chandrasham is 4 khandam is 5 mitram is 7 sangirna is 9 for example takita 3 takathimi 4 taka takita 5 taka dimmi takita 7 taka dimmi taka takita 9 this is the five jatis in all the combination of all the jatis you can make kurvas for example tattitam tati kinadum si khandam is there tatti tam tatti kinna to tatti tam tatti kinna to tam tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tam tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tam tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tam 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 tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tatti kinna to tatti kinna to all combination of uh, this tisram chandrasham um, sangeet everything is there in the so one core way so i'll i'll demonstrate how to do in the taram the same thing and also for example tarigita tarigita thum takita that's a different word takita tarigita thum that are so three taka dimmi taka tarigita thum taka takita kidadiku tarigita thum taka dimmi takita tatta kidadiku tarigita thum taka dimmi taka chanu kidadiku tarigita diku tarigita thum taka dimmi taka takita kidadiku tarigita kidadiku tarigita thum all variation of 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i am going to do the thalam same thing in a different uh, variation tat tik tam tat ikinadu same thing tat tik tam kedadu daragiradu tik tam kedadu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu kedadu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu tam kedadu daragiradu tam 
ஒரு and also in dance tattam 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 tadigena same thing tattam 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 tadingena du tattam 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 tadingena du tattam 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 tadingena du tattam 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 tadin tadigena du tadin tadigena du tadin See here in uh, dance taka 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 so it's little bit difficult for the dancers to do this speed taka taka if you have a slow uh, motion then they can do otherwise instead of taka 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 you can do tap tam tap tam tap tam taka 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 தாக்கிட்டி 7 8 9 9 the finishing arudhi spot now next is arudhis arudhis also is very important for the dance thirumana sarudhi thirumana mukta there are uh, few names for that for example is talk about அருதி தீர்மானம் தெர் ஆர் பிட்வீன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கணக்கு ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ சி ஹவு டு கால்குலேட் திஸ் அருதிஸ் தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இஸ் அனதர் மெயின் பார்ட் இந்த ஆதி தாளம் இனம் எட்டு அட்சரம் eight acharas and 32 matras how this 32 see each beat see eight beats so taka dimi 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 taka eight times taka dimi eight for the 32 that is the uh, total length of this adi thalam that is chadarsha jadi trubada thalam length so you have to calculate that way if you for, for example if you want to do 16 i will be so rest of the thala we can do some jetis like takati mita kachunu takati mita kachunu takati na tam takati na tam takati na tam is very simple thing. that way we can advance you can do little more um, improvise we can do that tajam chamda chan tajam chamda chan gadagada chum chum kan that is 24 i started from here after 8 so that way 31 32 there are a lot of gugu and tajam takita gugu and tajam takita gugu and tajam gugu and tajam takita gugu and tajam takita gugu and tajam different different pattern so there are number of arudhis 128 96 88 there are plenty of uh, arudhis so it's very important uh, for the dance people they can use the arudhis uh, 
And also another thing is I, I, uh, the Nadens. Naden is go takita 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 takita. In Adi Dalam, if you do like this, takita 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 takita. If you do four into the the Tisra Naden, it will be more beautiful. Just like taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi. Same thing. Taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi. So, tim, tata, 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 tim, tim, tata, tata, tim, 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 tata, uh, we can do the little more improvised thing. Tat him, tat tat him, 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 so, another uh, uh, variety of the Tisram. There are a lot of uh, variation. And then the Chadurasham part. Chadurasham part is very common. Everything. Very relaxing mood. So I will show you some uh, example of Nattu uh, Angam in dance. Tattanam tattitanam kutakatham Trigatanam kutakatatanam tattitanam kutakatim Trigatanam kutakatatanam kutai Tanam kute, takatanam kute, tanam kute, tatanam kute, tanam kute, takatanam kute, tanam kute, tatit tanam, tatanam, tanam, nam, tita, tap, get a little tatit tanam, tatanam, tanam, nam, tita, tap, get a little tatit tanam, tatanam, tanam, nam, tita, tap, get a little tatanam, tatit tanam, 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 tatit that was Chandrasham. Then Khandam. Khandam in the it's dance little bit fast movement. And we come. See, I'll play, I'll play a little bit Khandam. Instead of 5 5, you can do 10 straight everything. Taka the jump, Tati Kinda to Taka the jump, Tati Kinda to. That was 10. Now you can do 1 plus 9. Tata thinking not to, Tati thinking not to, Tata thinking not to, Tati thinking not to that. Two 
and A. That is a very, very uh, beautiful step for the, the dancers. And reverse also you can do. Okay. The next part is you can do three and seven. Or reverse you can do. Very, very interesting. Then we can do four and six. Four and six. Then five, five, five. That's a condom. And also one more thing before I start the Mishram part. Uh, <clears throat> how to improve your uh, talam? That also is very important. Whenever you get time, you can do this practice. This practice is very important. That way, that way you can strengthen your uh, talam. So what do you have to do? Take the Adi Dalam only, no problem. Everything is very relaxing. Four, four, four. We are doing okay. So if you do thirty-three instead of thirty-two, if you do thirty-three. What will happen after one? It will finish, right? It will like this. It will go like this. I'll show you. Again, the same cycle on the beach. So this will help the to the uh, strengthen the thought you can do easily you can do you can practice so that is another thing now Misradana Misram is always pride it's a different uh, mood can create in Misram for example There's another uh, thing. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So another thing <coughs> that was the uh, core ways and uh, Ayrutis and Nades. Now, Murdangam uh, is the main has uh, the main role in uh, dance uh, thing. Without Murdangam, there is no uh, life in uh, uh, classical dance. So, I'm, I'm going to do some other uh, language in uh, different states in a different language. For example, that jump, 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 jump. Jump. The jump, they are using jump a lo lot more because I don't know, there are different, different states, uh, different, different language. For example, different Bonnies, different Paddadis. We go to Delhi, Delhi Garana is a style different Garana, and uh, Jaipur Garana, if you go to uh, uh, different, different sets, different, different uh, style of playing and fingers, uh, different, and um, just like a language, right? Okay. It's, uh, um, Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, Kannada, just like you know, Hindi. So, and Nang, but Takadi me Taka Junu, Tajam. So, I'll show you the Tajam also, the how they are using Tajam. In Rupa Talam, I'll show you that. Tak, Kita Taka Jung, Jung, Tom, Kita Taka Jum, Kita Taka Jung, Jung, Dim, Dim. ขึ้นตะกะจมจมจมตาขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้นตะกะจมขึ้น
two times sangirna you can do in a uh, dance so, for example the marangis uh, when uh, in the natunar natunar they are doing this um takita 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 and the marangis can play or the dance step they can change the thing just like a uh, you have to consider on the eight so how will you calculate that one that is the question so takita 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 18 so how to divide 18 for example i i just um, uh, did the uh, 29 takita 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 in that that thing in that that so just like that two misram 14 plus 4 we can add 4 okay so takita 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 you can do everything in the step in the uh, when a dance this is very 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 important part you can divide um, uh, mainly mrdanges to focus the dances step their legs and their uh, hands and their expressions how to um, they are doing all uh, emotions so many other things right different different moves now there are some moves so um, that way uh, according to that their thing we can uh, improvise uh, uh, your uh, depends on the mrdangam players uh, skills they can change uh, so many things and uh, also another thing is paddadi uh, paddadi So we are uh, we are not doing any rehearsal or anything in the uh, artist uh, if for example is balamurli krishna sir is coming or each das sir is coming we are not practicing anything we directly we are meeting on the stage we are playing on the spot why how how we are uh, how we are doing everything because the see i'll i tell you for example tadigina dum so three times tadigina so okay tadigina dum tadigina dum tadigina tadding gena to tadding gena to tadding is also okay but the paddadi if you do like this tadigena to tadding gena to tadding gena to that is the paddadi tadigena to tadding gena to tadding gena to tadigena to 5 6 and 7 is the right thing. and we can do 5 7 9 also is the paddadi okay so Any of the core way, Mister Chapu. Taka kita chung, taka kita chung, taka kita chung. Tati kena tu, tati kena tu, tati kena tu. Taka kita chung. Definitely next will come seven. Taka kita chung, taka kita chung, taka kita chung. Tati kena tu, tati kena tu, tati kena tu. Taka kita chung, taka kita chung, taka kita chung. That thing kena tu, that thing kena tu, that thing kena tu. Taka kita chung, taka kita chung, taka kita chung. That thing, tati kena tu, that thing, tati kena tu, that thing, tati kena tu. So five, seven, nine. Seven 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 twenty one same thing five seven nine also twenty one so and also you have to learn if uh, the thalam if you do the thalam and uh, you have to do all the uh, five six seven eight nine thalam so that that also the another part we can make purvas your own thing you can put your own idea. can make or was beautiful beautiful you can do for that you have to do this one for example you have to do the khandam three times um taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka taki ta dinge na to ta dinge na to ta dinge na to how i calculated because thalam is 32 three times khandam is 15 the remaining Number is seventeen. So five three is fifteen plus dash is equal to thirty two. Means thirty two minus fifteen is equal to seventeen. Seventeen is takadimi 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 takadaki. So that is 
So taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka taka. Tati gina tu, tati gina tu, tati gina tu. Same thing, just like a six. Tati gina tu, tati gina tu, tati gina tu. Everything is tati gina tu only. But if you come to the the gap, if you give the gaps and everything, the nade the tempo will change. Like tati gina tu, tati gina tu, tati gina tu. Everything is tadding and only. Very beauty. So that way, six. If you take the six, tadding and adu. That's why the vocalist, they are getting sunny. The reason, neither sunny, the bama. It's the same thing. Tadding and adu, tadding and adu, tadding and adu. You know this one, you can easily can accompany with them immediately. So again, six, three is 18 plus 14. So after 14, you can take the six. Three times, six, three times. So, taka taka kina to kina to Just like seven also, it's the same thing. For example, if six, 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 18, right? Five, six, seven also, 18. So, you can do five, six, seven. That also, the, the paddhati, I told you already, paddhati, that's called paddhati. Five, six, seven. The same thing, takadimi, 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 takata, dingina to ta, dingina to ta, dingina to ta. Same thing I will do in a different combination. Five, six, seven. Takadimi, 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 takata, dingina to ta, dingina to ta, dingina to ta. See the beauty. In dance, you can oh, you can use this word. So that's what I'm saying. If you, if you, if you practice this type of uh, uh, all the combination of the uh, five jatis in the different different talam. Depends only you should know the duration of the talam, duration of whatever you want to play. For example, Ariti. If you want to do in 72 in Ariti, what you'll do? 72. Same the calculation. One talam is 32, two talam is 64. See, always whatever you want to play is Bigger, um, uh, smaller than tal. Tal always big. So, takadimi, takadimi, I am I'm giving you the aridhi. 72, this is 72 aridhi. Takadimi, 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 See the beauty. So, and also, um, uh, any question, uh, um, Chitra, Anu, Radha, Laonia, or any question uh, you want to ask, any related to our uh, thing? Yes, sir. Give us a few minutes, sir. Okay. It was a very wonderful piece of uh, you know information on talam. Thank you very much. Uh, the first question is: When we compose dance for swarams, how can we calculate the kanaka, or should we go with the same way the swaram is set, or can we go on a contrast? Um, this is uh, a good question you're asking me. Uh, when they are singing, um, any of the uh, Kurve Kanaka, just like Taka Dimi, Taka Janu Tong, Taka Dimi, Taka Janu Tong, Taka Dimi, Taka Janu Tong, Tati Kinatuta, Tati Kinatuta, Tati Kinatuta. So, according to their thing, they will put the Swarams, whatever the Kanaka, they will put the Swarams, 
and the dance the problem is some of the phrases is too fast uh, the they are singing too fast at that time it is very difficult to dance that same the speed so we can do for example uh kedathuk tharikira kedathuk tharikira dum tham kedathuk tharikira kedathuk tharikira dum tham kedathuk tharikira kedathuk tharikira dum tham okay so what we will do taka de mitaka takita tham taka de mitaka takita tham you to make that way you know what i am saying this is the this is the thing you can do for example any any of the uh, uh, but uh, you cannot change their uh, the sort of uh, sthanam you, you can't change that, that that is fixed that is fixed whatever they are uh, um, they compose the uh, uh, they compose uh, uh, core ways you have to follow the same thing uh, you can't change like i, I told you, you know tadi geda do tadi geda do tadi geda do 15 so 4 5 6 also uh, 15 that way you can do uh, other than that is it's not it won't match with the soram uh, and this kanak uh, thank you sir uh, very informative my second question is as a student if you want to train to be a mridangist for bharatanatyam what kind of training should the student go through in order to become a mridangist for dance yeah see there are few things uh, they have to learn first thing is they have to listen music lot of music especially thillanas varnams and pallavi format everything they have to listen completely and also while the children they are playing how to train these uh, students we well, have a lot of uh, uh, students uh, in all over the world they are playing with all the big big artists like uh, hemali and all you know all the people and uh, you no know, they have to focus on their step mainly we are playing we are not uh, some of the pieces they are somebody is singing along with the dance um so some of the piece we can um play with the song according to the songs but most of the time 50 to 60% of the time the focus on their steps uh they have to practice that way steps not with the songs you are there to focus on the step and their uh, movement of the hands their expressions that way they are to practice then only they can play with this uh, dance and also they are uh, for example they are uh, um, singing for uh, bhavaya for example bhavaya mirakura so so they are multiple times they will sing the whatever the uh, pallavi or pallavi whatever it is and they are doing so many improvisation while singing the the dances they will do so many things so each each time um, uh, this mrangist uh, they can improvise their own depends on their skill they can do all kind of uh, method so these kids the young generation they have to listen a lot of music uh, then only they can play with uh, dance but once you uh, practice with the dance then easily you can do that um, that is uh, but here in america uh there is not that much opportunity uh to listen the concert but now they change there are a lot of concerts going on and also online there are uh, you know many ways to listen a lot of music ways those days when i was there i mean uh, those days it was very difficult to um, attend the concert the online the now is available everywhere right so this is a that's good thing actually they can uh, learn fast with any um they can you know uh, become a very good artist they can do that that is the practice with the, the dance not only dance uh, all the concerts and everything but concerts playing is different dance playing is different both are uh, different ways thank you sir uh, thank you for uh... answering this thank you uh, nandakumar sir for taking your time and spending some wonderful moments for bridges art and beyond uh, it was really uh, an honor for us to have you 
uh, for a live session like this. Thank, Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, the Chitra Ramaswamy called when I said, okay, I will do that. Uh, because, you know, that way the people can do the, the uh, whatever is my small knowledge. I'm, I'm a Vidyarthi, I'm a student. I don't know anything about the thing. I'm still, I'm, a, I'm still trying to learn. Uh, whatever I just uh, demonstrate, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to some something. You know, if anything uh, wrong, please forgive me. Um, that's what I. And thank you uh, very much again um, for the Natya Sangamam. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Any question or anything? No. And then, actually, no. I want to conclude. I'll play one um, Kurve and finish it. Sure, Is sir. It? Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. It was such an honor. It was, you know, simply amazing listening to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. We now move on to the next segment. Our next segment is a dance performance by artist Yarini Rajakulasingam. Yalini Rajakulasingam is a Toronto District School Board trustee for Scarborough North. She is also a Bharatanatyam dancer and a disciple of Dr. Nartaki Nataraj. She has completed her undergraduate studies in political science and her postgraduate studies in arts and cultural management. Apart from performing across North America and India, Yarini's interest also includes arts advocacy. She has worked with the city of Toronto and many non-profit arts organizations in Toronto, focusing on arts advocacy and cultural policy. Her focus for the future is to help create a more diverse and inclusive art sector that truly represents Toronto's cultural mosaic. Yarini is a firm believer that cultural art forms are a part of self-expression and helping diaspora communities learn more about their identity. This evening, we present to you Yarni Rajakula Singha. Hello, Rukumanakam. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Yalni Rajakula Singham, and I'm excited to take part in New Jersey Natya Sangamam's Bridges Art and Beyond. 
when Chitoka asked me to take part, I was really excited. She gave me the theme of Tamil literature or Tamil texts, and I was really excited to share my own take on it or my perspective on it. I hope everyone is keeping safe. And I, and I just want to thank New Jersey Nadia Sangamam for creating the space where we can continue to remain connected and engaged and still have access to art. Uh, that being said, um, I'll begin my presentation. Today I am going to share, um, a, share and talk about the Tirumurai and Tirupuhal. Uh, growing up in Toronto, and I'm sure it's the same case for many students out there, uh, we often hear about the Varam Tirupuhal, and we, we hear it at the temples, we sing them in music class, but I only understood its true significance uh, about um, maybe a few years ago. Um, and I think to understand its significance, we have to go back a few centuries. So the Tamil language is one language we celebrate as uh, you know, a surviving classical language. It's rich in culture, and we have many um, you know, evidence that our literature goes back to about the third century BCE. And while many of the early texts didn't survive, we still have um, texts from the Sangam period like Tol Kapiyam, Ittatoke, Pattapate, Aim Beren Kapiyangal, and so much more. And it's very evident that uh, Tamil music and Tamil literature were very prevalent and very rich at the time. Um, Tamil music, um, there was a lot of uh, instruments that were in use, like the yar, which unfortunately um, isn't in existence today or isn't played uh, today, um, as well as different types of drums. And we saw that um, the pun system, which is equivalent to today's uh, Carnatic uh, ragam system. So a lot of um, evidence and similarities between ancient Tamil music and present day Carnatic music. Uh, we also see, you know, different types of Tamil texts, religious texts. So the Tirumurai is a set of uh, 12 books or texts written by the 63 Naimad or Tamil poets. And from the first book, which is the Tevaram, to the last section, which is the Periyapuranam, it's about 600 years. And I think that's so amazing because it really covers uh, different emotions, different, um, um, different aspects, and each has its own beauty. And two major contributions which came from the Tirumurai is one is an increase in the Tamil Saiva Bhakti movement. So at the time, I think uh, what I've heard is many temples were, you know, local temples or, you know, home, you know, shrines we have at our homes. And it was when the Nayanmar started writing about um, the temples in their, in their villages, in their towns, and once these songs or these poems start to spread, people started hearing about temples that were, you know, in distant lands. And that's how pilgrimages started. That's how people started traveling. And we saw an increase in, in Tamil Saiva traditions. And it was also another uh, aspect that came out of it was the revival of the Tamil language. So during Sangam period, we saw a lot of texts like the Ayanbiran Kapiyangal, like Tol Kapiyam. And then again, we see a revival with the Tirumurai because, or with the Tevarams, because um, you know Tam the Tamil language made understanding these poetry, these poems, so accessible, and it really was written in such a beautiful way. Especially since it's covering devotion, it's covering a lot of emotions like strength. So people found it more accessible and more relatable. So today I'm going to present uh, one Tevaram. It's the first um, text written about Tamil Saivism. And um, the Tevarams were written by Tirunyan Samadar, Tirunavakarasa, and Sundarar. And so between the 6th and 7th century. So the first Tirumai, which I'm going to present, is Thorari Sivian, written by Tirunyan Samadar. And it's in the Pan, Natapare, which is present day Nat day. Um, so it talks about um, uh, Lord Shiva as the person who wears a ring on their ear, uh, they ride a bull, they have a moon in their hair, and they take uh, ash from the cemetery and they um, you know, smear it all over their bodies, um, and he, they, he steals the heart of his devotees. And this person resides in, in, in all of us. So 
and this is the first Devaram um, Torriya Sadian. So that was Tordeya Sevian, written by Tirinyana Samandar. So the next Tervara is um, written by uh, Sundarar in the 8th century. So Tervarams are written in Pan, which was um, what was the original uh, system that gave rise to Ragams. And there was 21, I believe, in total. And what's really interesting with Tervarams was um, at one point, many of them, which were written on palm leaves, originally written on palm leaves, were locked up in the Chidambaram temple. And Raj Raj Solan, hearing about these poetry, these verses, um, he sent someone to retrieve them. And it was said that of the thousands and thousands of um, Tevarams which were, were stored there, only a handful had survived because, you know, it's very fragile and was written on palm leaves. So it's, it's quite, it's quite um, unfortunate, but um, taking, um, by retrieving those Tevarams, he um, formed the Tirumurai by putting these texts together. And I think it's very interesting because when looking at the relationship between, um, you know, temple building and Tevarams and uh, the Tirumurai, I think they're very interconnected. These kings, like Raja Solon, who built the uh, Tanjay Periyakovil, and also many other temples in Tanjavur, um, they were such great um, Saivit devotees. So I'm sure the more they heard these poems, these Tevarams, they were inspired to build more temples. And as more temples were being built, I'm sure Nine Mar were inspired and they wrote more poems. So we see the cycle of how each kind of fed into one another. And I'm sure with more temples being built, it created more spaces for dance, for Nadasran Tavil, and more spaces for the arts to flourish. So I think it's really interesting how, you know, it's, it's all interconnected at the end of the day. So the next Devaram is um, Porna Armeniani. It was written in the 8th century by Sundarar, and it's in the Pan Nataragam. And it's written about uh, Thirumal um, Malabari, which is interesting because um, the Tevarams cover about 275 different temples, so each one is about a different Ur. So this one's about uh, Malabari, um, and it describes him, uh, him as someone with a, uh, with a golden body uh, wrapped in tiger skin. Uh, and it describes him as having you know, hair matted with uh, you know, kondre flower um, adorned in it. Um, he is described as the jewel of Malabari, and 
the devotee asks, without you, who else will I go to? Uh, so it's another beautiful Tevaram, which I am going to present. So that was the Varam, which makes up the first section of the Tirumurai. Next, we have Tirumandiram, which is my favorite. Um, Tirumandiram was written by Tirumular in the between 4th and 6th century, and it's the 10th part of the Tirumurai. So not only was um, Tirumural, Tirumular a, one of the 63 Nairmar, he was also one of 18 Sittar. And as you may know, the Sittar, they were experts in, in, in uh, literature, in, um, in science, in technology, astronomy. Um, they were so knowledgeable. And what's beautiful about the Thiru Mandiram is it's not just known for its poetic beauty, like the Tevaram, but it's also known for its philosophy. So in Tevaram, we saw a lot of devotion. We saw a lot of, you know, it talks about the land. It talks about that temple. It talks about... You know the devotee and their and their devotion, but in Tirumandaram it talks about philosophy, which I think is very interesting. So envisivam, which is a very well-known concept even in today's day, is written by Tirumular. It's from Tirumandaram. Um, so today I want to present from Tirumandaram envisivam, and envisivam means love is God, God is love. So love is God, God is love. An ignorant person will separate love and God, but fails to understand that love is a form of God. When a person understands this, they themselves become God. It's, it's so beautiful, and uh, I'm going to present uh, Thiru Mandiram now.
So that was one verse from Tirumandiram. And Tirumandiram is actually, uh, there's 3,000 verses. So it's, it's very vast and each one covers a different concept. So the next verse is also from Tirumandiram and it's, it's uh, Yam Petra Inbam. So here Tirumura says, he has experienced absolute bliss and he wishes the world to experience the same uh, feeling of joy. And the only way to experience divinity is through one's own individual experience. There is no path, there is not one path to the divine, just like there's not one form of love. So that was a kind of a, a, a quick, a very quick summary of uh, Tirumandiram and uh, of Tirumuri actually. So the beauty of Tevaram is it shows um, deep devotion by so much, so many of these nine men. And the beauty is that calmness, that strength it gives is still relevant to us today. Even if we hear these Tevarams, it still gives us that same emotion that they probably had many centuries ago. And Tirumandiram, it shows that that ideal concept of love is God and the highest form of, of the divine and how knowledge is, is wealth and, to, and, he encourages, and he encourages us to spread it. And these are things that, again, are very um, relevant to us today. And these are concepts that we need to continue to teach uh, especially at a time when there's so much hate and ignorance in our world. So Tirumare was based on, Tevaram was from Tirumare, Tirumandaram was from Tirumare, and they're both based on Shiva. Next, we're gonna switch gears and, and explore Tirupuhal. So Tirupuhal is written um, about Murahan, and while um, Tirumare was written by the 63 Nayanmad, Tirupuhal was all written by Arnagiri Nadar. So it's from the 14th century, and it was known again also for its religious and poetic beauty. What's unique, however, about Tirupuhal is it's the first time we see a Tamil poet write about, you know, religion and religious verses set in a, in a poetic verse, but also set to a certain thalam. And many of these Tirupuhal also had rhythmic syllables. So if you think of the well-known uh, there's such very specific words that have so much rhythm and, and strength to them. And that's the beauty or a unique quality that we first see in Tamil text, in religious text, in the Tirupuhal. So today I'm gonna present a Tirupuhal that's not that well-known, but it's one of my favorites. And it's about Kadar Kama Kovil and it's called Iravamal Piravamal.
So mm -hmm. thank you again, Chitraka, and to the entire New Jersey Natya Sangamam team. Thank you for the past few weeks and bringing together such amazing artists and sharing their perspectives and creating this space. Um, I hope everyone uh, remains safe. Please take the necessary precautions and hopefully we can meet soon. And uh, the next time we meet, all this will be behind us and our communities will be healthy and strong. Uh, thank you again, Chitraka, and to New Jersey Natya Sangamam for creating the space and for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yarni. It was a beautiful performance. I would like to tell you something about the Natyanjali competition. Natyanjali, a Bharatanatyam competition conceived and conducted by New Jersey Natya Sangamam from the year 2015, is one of the most popular competition held in North America and Canada. Winners of this competition get to perform in the prestigious dance festivals conducted by the renowned Sabas in Chennai. We take great privilege in bringing distinguished judges from all over the globe. We have completed five years into this competition, which has reached great heights. In efforts to continue the growth of Natyanjali, we will be coming out with online Bharatanatyam competition with more creative ways, which will give the students to participate, learn and interact with dancers all over North America and Canada. We will be conducting Natyanjali 2020-21 with great new approach. Rasikas, you can follow us on our website, Facebook and Instagram at New Jersey Natya Sangama. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, NJ Natya Sangamam, to get more updates on the competition. Namaskar. Thank you, Lavanya. It has been a wonderful experience for NJNS to conduct our first online festival, Bridges Art and Beyond, since last five weeks. It was an immense pleasure meeting different artists from different locations who have created an achieve in their own field. We are very honored to have presented all of them during our festival. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all our guests. Srimati Hema Rajagopalan, Srimati Subha Parman, Srimati Sujata Srinivasan, Sri Babu Parameshwaran, Sri T.S. Nandakumar, Srimati Kritika Rajagopalan, Sara Lakna, Dustin Stonewolf, Srimati Priya Ramdas, Sri Kalesan, Srimati Saumya Rajara, Srimati Komala Kumari, Kumari Sutikshna Veeravalli, Kumari Yalini Kulasingam. This show wouldn't have been possible without our tech support, Sri Krishna Natarajan. Thanks for all your help and support in making this online show successful, Krishna. Our special thanks to all our fabulous MCs, Rubina Sudarman, Bina Shankar, Divya Kapura, Deepthi Gar. Special mention to Lavanya Mahadevan for inaugurating all days of our festival with her fabulous singing. We like to extend our thanks to our wonderful viewers. Thanks for your support and feedback. NJNS will continue its presence online. Keep watching this channel for more updates. Thank you.